What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Surf fishing beautiful Gulf Shores, Alabama this morning. I am running a guide out here. This is one of my new spots. I found this spot from a previous client who owns some property down here. He asked me to run a guide like basically behind his beach house. I was a little hesitant because I like to go where I know there's fish, but I decided to give it a run and he has got a great location, y'all. So after the trip, <laughs> you know, I kind of, hey man, you think I can park here sometimes? And he did give me permission. I just shoot him texts when I'm coming. As long as there's renters not here, I'm allowed to park here. So that's where we're at this morning. We absolutely slayed them back here right out a week ago. North wind today, everything is pretty flat, but I have some rigs set up for trout. Over here in the Gulf Shores area, we get surf trout. We don't get them that much on the Florida side. It's weird. Even though it's just right down the road, the trout don't seem to migrate that far. So if we see something popping, we have something to throw at them. Let's get it out there. Pull up. There you go. Real. There you go. He's fighting you. If he starts running to the side, walk with walk with the line. I know that rod bend. <laughs> we got one on, boys and girls. We had that one about a mid-range cast with my tough bite rig, Panhandle Salt, which is a double drop, completely naked hook on one, three translucent beads on the other. All right, he's coming straight in on you. This one might be on too. We got a lot of slack. Oh, I think this one's on too. This one's got a lot of slack in it. Those little guys hit so hard. All right, guys. Looks like we got a little whiting bite going on here. That little whiting bent that rod over. All right, there he is. All right, get back, Fred. All right, that's a chunker. That's a chunker whiting there. You keeping fish, Ann? You keeping fish? Fred just robbed me. Fred just got our biggest whiting. Man, Fred. Pulled in two whiting back to back. Fred got one. Oh, looks like we're on. We don't have too much of a fight going on here. We could be, we could have a kitty and nothing. All right, let's put us a big old flea on there. This has been the popular rod. This is where we get our whiting bites on. We've had two hits and a miss on this rod also. Green shrimp flavored fish bites tip with a sand flea same rod guys that is the one this morning green shrimp flavored fish bite sand flea combo we have that on our long cast rig single drop three beads this is the green bead so green bait green beads and you're about to drop down in the deeper water here you came over the sandbar walk with him this way see your line so you might have to go over this one let's see yep you're clear keep going all right that could be a pompano pompano are notorious to run in east or west all right got some head shakes right there at the end guys it's coming in let's see what we got where is he at he's coming back on you there he is come on bring him up bring him up pompano 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 that is a good one y'all absolute stud guys on that hot rod it's so funny how one rod will just keep getting hit single drop panhandle salt rig green fish bite shrimp flavor tipped with sand flea that pump got our leader all tangled up so instead of wasting time sitting there trying to get it untangled i pulled the rod up that's right next to it and i'm gonna get this guy baited up with the same hot bait the green fish bites and sand flea. Get that out while I'm dealing with this leader. We got this guy on our tough bite rig, completely naked hook, three translucent beads on the other drop. Out of curiosity, see how big this girl is. She's at 13 and a half. Nice, thick, got some shoulders on her pompano. You can't disregard these big sand fleas, guys. I know a lot of fishermen that throw these back. I catch a lot of fish on these big guys. That pompano that we have in the cooler was on one of these big guys. 
If it's easy for you to rake up in the sand, it's easy for the fish to get. No matter what the size, small, medium, large, throw them in your basket. These pompano got a big mouth, guys. I mean, you can get a big flea in there. Don't overlook those big guys. So on my annual camping trips to St. George Island kayak camping trips, I figured out set rig fishing for trout is a thing. We'll put out set rigs at camp, like while we're cooking and stuff like that. And every year I catch trout by staging a shrimp. So I'll take a whole shrimp like this. I don't peel him or anything. I just kind of stage him, make him look good, throw it out there on a single drop, trout will smash it. Oh, trout rod went off. <laughs> the trout rod went off, guys. Oh, is he fighting you? Okay, we might have one. We might have one. Set rig trout fishing. Come on. Get him in. No, oh, it's a whiting. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's a good one. <laughs> Not a trout, but we will take it. I had my mind on trout. I forgot that whiting hit shrimp too. All right, little rod went off again, I think. He might have got our shrimp. P go ahead and check it, pull it in. Because we, we had a hit, but then he just stopped. He might have got what he wanted. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we got one on. That's a runner, too, y'all. Oh, man, he's fighting on the eight-foot rod, too. This is going to be fun. This, oh, yeah, bring him in. What is that? What is that? That is big. Look, that's a big trout. That's my trout. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this trout. That's the biggest trout I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> On the set rig, trout fishing. Y'all didn't think it could be done. That is a trophy trout, guys. Oh my goodness. Absolute beast, guys. I keep reviving this girl, putting her back in. 30 inches. 30? 30 inches, y'all. Over 30 inch. 30 inch trout. Oh! 31 inches, guys. Absolute beast right off the beach set rig fishing. Again, I knew I could do this from the experience in St. George Island. You don't always have to throw lures at this guy. You just have to target the right areas. This guy is an absolute tank. My client is ecstatic. <laughs> she said she wants to keep it to put it on the wall. We're going to let this girl go. They are here, y'all. Alabama trout fishing. Go on, girl. Woo! And for all you superstitious people out there, I was eating a banana when that happened. Staging that shrimp, I believe, is what did it, guys. Instead of peeling him off and all that, I'll hook him like this with his tail and then run the hook back through it so he's in the water like that. Now he's not alive, but he looks good. And that's how we do it at St. George Island. Now in St. George Island, they've hit fish bites also. It's just where you're putting your bait is so important with these trout. I would show you, but I don't think I'm going to. Fish on. <laughs> One more. All right, we're in a little whiting hole too. Nice. Stacking the cooler with fish tacos and we're using the fish taco rig. So this rig here is the Panhandle Salt fish taco. This is my whiting rig. Single drop. I eliminate one bead on this one, just two beads. And then we use 15 pound liter. That's what we caught that big trout on also. Watch out, Fred. I see you back there. Oh, water chicken. We got another surf trout, I think, guys. Same rod, same stage shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Little whiting. <laughs> I'm all surf trout happy now. I think every time the rod goes off, that's what it is. Woo! That was a trip, guys. Awesome monster catch in the surf. All those St. George Island trips pay off. We have a lot of time out there. When you're, when you're kayak camping like that and you don't have any responsibilities, you have a lot of time to play with stuff. So we started like staging those shrimp a few years back and having success with them. So today I know it's that time of year where surf trout are out here. 
I gave it a shot and was able to pull in the biggest trout I've had a part of. On an eight foot rod, that single drop fish taco rig panhandle salt and an unpeeled shrimp staged. So if you guys watched my last video, you know I'm in negotiations with an organization to create them a surf fishing guide service. Here in about 45 minutes is my second interview. So I'm heading over there now to see what happens. You guys stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. Again, it wouldn't mean I would have to shut down Perdido Blaine Outfitters, but I'm willing to do that if we can come to an agreement on salary. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'm out of here. Great trip. Till next time, fishing buddies.